Today, we're going to wrap up the series on bee trees and talk about deletion. With insertion, we added keys to only leaf nodes. With deletion, we need to be able to remove a key from any node, internal or leaf. With deletion, we need to keep a node from getting too small. Remember that every node other than the root must have t minus one keys. We're going to code our algorithm in a way that when we call delete on a node x, x has at least t keys. Note this is one more than the required amount of t minus one. This allows us to delete a key in one downward pass. For this video, we're going to walk through the delete cases visually, but I won't walk through the code line by line. I will, however, post it to my GitHub. We'll use the following bee tree for our example. Let's start by introducing some terms. We'll use the key 22 to do this. 22 has a predecessor, which is the largest key in 22's left child, 21. 22 also has a successor, which is the smallest key in 22's right child, 23. Let's start deleting keys from our tree. For this B tree, the value of T is 3, which means the minimum number of keys for nodes besides the root is 2, and the maximum number of keys is 5. There are three categories of cases we'll cover, with slight variations of each. Case one is a simple case where we delete a key from the leaf. Let's delete 21. Remember that our algorithm is coded in such a way that if we call delete on a node, it has at least T keys, one more than the minimum. For this situation, we simply remove the key from the node. Let's look at case 2a, where we have an internal node, and the left child has t keys, one more than the minimum. We'll show this by deleting 30. We delete 30's predecessor, 27, from the left child. We then move it up into the parent, removing 30 in the process. Case 2b is similar, except that the right child has t keys, and we move the key successor into the parent. We'll show this by deleting 27, moving the successor 31 into its place. Case 2c is where both children have t minus 1 keys, which is already the minimum. To demonstrate, let's delete key 22. We'll call the left child Y and the right child Z. We move Z's keys into Y, as well as the key we're trying to delete, 22. Z goes away, and we have a new node that contains 22 and has two times t minus 1 keys. We're now safe to delete 22, as this is simply case 1. Let's look at case 3b. Yes, b first because the tree sets up nicely for it. We'll delete 17 to showcase this. In this situation, there is a node in the recursion path that has only t minus one keys. If you remember from the beginning, we only call delete on a node if it has t keys. In this situation, we move the keys over from the node's sibling. And we also move the root key down to the node. Now our node has enough keys, and we progress down the tree, deleting 17 from its node. Our root is also empty, so we remove it, and the tree's height 
shrinks by one. Finally, in case 3a, the node with the key we want to delete has only t minus one keys, but its sibling has t keys. Let's delete key nine to show this. To do this, we move 15 down in the place of nine and move 19 into the place of 15. We then remove 19. That sums up our examples. It's worth noting that because of B-tree design, most keys will be in leaf nodes and thus deletes will be simple. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you on your computer science journey. Please like and subscribe.